Welcome back to the last of this mini series on cutting your 12 by 12 pattern paper and matting and decorating it. As you can see here, I have several card fronts that I made with the pieces that I cut and I showed you how to cut. And then also using the embossing folders. Use this one and this flowered one. And then I used this one for the landscape card because I figured this pattern looks the same this way or that way. As you see here. Okay. What I'm going to do, this is the one that we had completely finished except for the sentiment. And so I wanted to go ahead and show you that and put that on. I'm not going to use a die. It's just going to be with my trimmer only to show you that we can go simple, we can go fancy. There's just no end to creativity with cards. I've got two sentiments. I'll go ahead and stamp them both at the same time and then I'll cut them out so we can put them on separate cards. And we have get well and then we have hello. I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo because, as you can see, flowers, that, that color is in there. And this is just a white scrap. I'm going to use my trimmer to cut it out instead of a die. And then I'm going to mat this also with a contrasting or coordinating color. Okay, there's our get well. Let's do a hello. In the same color. Okay. Let's cut those out. Sometimes I, I like to leave a little space for decorations. If you've watched me at all, you have seen me embellish with Nubo Drops. I will map. I'm going to use this for this one to go on here because it contrasts with the petals or the, um, I'm sorry, the leaves and the greenery. And then I'm going to use this one up here. Okay, so let's measure this one. This is right at two and a quarter. Oh, uh, no, two and, not quite, okay, two and a half, oh boy. <laughs> I'm really bad about this. Not quite two and a half. All right, so we're going to make this two and a half. <laughs> let's just call it that. Okay, now the width is not quite one, probably about seven eighths of an inch. So we'll go with a little over one. Okay, how's that? We don't need to mat or we don't need to decorate with the embossing folder for for this piece. Let's put 
put this on first. Oh, would you know it? This ran out. But I have another one here. Now, you can put this on, up on foam tape, but this is just a basic, you know, series. We're not getting fancy, too fancy here. This is mainly about what to do with the pattern paper. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the Get Well. We're going to measure it. And this is three and not quite three and a half. The little tick mark before the three and a half. So we'll do a little over three and a quarter. Okay, now the width is right at one and a half. So let's do one and three quarters. that little smudge is I can probably cover that up so there's that awesome okay there's that and this is I'm going to go ahead and put this on the card base. Ordinarily, I would stamp the inside of the cards first. That way, if I do mess up, I can just turn the card around. But depending on the type of card, you can make put everything on the card base first or just make the card front by itself like I've done here. Okay, so there's that front. There's this one. Okay. Now this one, as you can tell, I went ahead and used Mint Macaron, and I did go ahead and emboss with it, but you can't really see it. But I know it's there. And so I use the same embossing folder for this piece. And this is the, the five and a quarter by four that I cut three and two and a quarter. Three, two and a quarter. And then it's the four inches across, of course. Okay. This is portrait style, so we're going to put that on. And we have mint macaron, so let's do flirty flamingo. Let's stamp first so I know what size to make the matting. <laughs> so let's do a thank you in Flirty Flamingo. No, yes, okay. I'm gonna be donating these to my church. Maybe I need to re-ink that. And let's go ahead and use our trimmer to cut. Okay, 
So let's measure this. This is just barely over two and a half, two and a quarter. So we'll cut at two and a half and one and a quarter. Okay. All right, let's put it right in the middle. That will look cool, huh? Okay, right here. Okay. There's that one. Let's do... To show an example of each kind that I made. Now, this is interesting because this has what's called a core. The paper is actually, you see the green, but it's actually white in the center. And so when I did the embossing, it brought out the white. So that's kind of cool. All right. Let's decide what we're going to put here. Let's do um, mint macaron. And we will stamp. And now let's do another get well. How's that? In Flirty Flamingo. Because there are so colds and things going around. Do you want to brighten up somebody's day with a card? For sure. I don't want to get it too close to the edge because I want to leave cutting room. And it just takes some practice. Okay, there's get well. And so let's go ahead and cut that. I want to make it kind of equidistant here too. Top and bottom. Back and forth. So let's measure it now. I'm sorry, I'm just not real good with the eighth stuff. <laughs> okay, perfect. covers up quite a bit of card so I can bring it down about right there. How does that look? And here we are. All right. Four different types. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me on this little mini series, Tips and Tricks. If you'd like to see more, I have a Back to Basics playlist. I will link here. And so I can't wait to see you again. For my next project, I believe that's going to be Show Us Your Sheet Load the first week of March. So please stay tuned. Bye-bye.